kind of have offensive tools, a gun, a taser, um, collapsible batons. These are things that are could be considered offensive weapons. This is a life-saving tool. What might look like a little blue band to some as a potential lifesaver for others. Gunshot victims, but also auto accidents. And unfortunately, we live in a day and age where, you know, sometimes we see uh, situations where there, there are mass amounts of injuries. UC Health donated $15,000 to the Cincinnati Police Department to buy 650 military-grade tourniquets in an effort to reduce deaths in the city. You may use this on a, on a civilian, you may use this on a victim, or heaven forbid you use it on one of your fellow officers, but it's a life-saving tool that we shall have available to us. This is the first time all CPD officers will have access to tourniquets. Before, officers were buying the kits with their own money, a cost of $25 to $50 for the proper setup. Haas says the life-saving portion of policing is just as important as protecting. Everyone knows that firefighters and paramedics, that's kind of their job, but a lot of times we're the first off, we're first responders on scene, and if we have that ability, if the threat has been neutralized, there is no longer uh, any danger on the scene, we're there to apply first aid. Now, this was a one-time donation, but the police department hopes to be able to provide these tourniquet kits in the future. Reporting at the Police Academy, Alexis Rogers, WLWT News 5.